What is the most Jesus Christ? What is the most surprising orifice from which you have ever removed a coin? Oh man, an ear. I keep it real simple. Nice try though. Hi, my name's Noah. We are at the oldest magic store in New York City, Tannins, and today I'm answering questions for Atlas Obscura. Why have wands fallen out of fashion? What would it take to bring them back? I don't know if they're coming back. There's one magic trick I do with a magic wand, and I love it, because I get to go full potter and just like, I don't know, it's so much fun. But in general, if you pull a magic wand out, it just brings a lot of associations with it of rabbits and capes and top hats and all sorts of shenanigans. What's your favorite off-the-shelf trick? The wonder bubbles is my favorite off-the-shelf trick. You blow bubbles in the air and then you reach out and grab one and it turns into a solid ball of glass. I love that trick. Jesus Christ. Ugh. Imagine a Venn diagram with three overlapping circles. Okay, the first circle is labeled clowns, the next magicians, and the final circle comedians. How would you label the area where all three circles intersect? I think I've already ran out of time on answering this question. Is there anything sold at Tannins that you can't find anywhere else? Yes, the Tannins Mystery Box. The box contains $50 worth of incredible magical merchandise. You buy it for $25, but you don't get to open it until after you leave the store. So it's always something mysterious. It's that right there. Should magicians have to register with the government like mutants? To answer that question, I would have to reveal a number of compromising pieces of information about magicians and their mutant powers and or lack of mutant powers. Uh, but no, that would defeat the purpose of it. Also, it would just be an incredibly bureaucratic process. What's the scariest thing for a magician? Honestly, the scariest thing for a magician is when you meet people who 100% believe magic is real and have like a million questions for you and things they need you to fix and hexes they need you to break. It's, it's really weird um, and there are those people out there. So that's, that's pretty scary. How often do you get to wear a cape? Come on, never. Oh man, what's more difficult, making things disappear or conjuring things out of thin air? Definitely making things disappear is, is a lot harder because um, with making things appear, you have the element of surprise. When you make something appear, by the time the effect has happened, they didn't know what to watch for, whereas for something to vanish, it's almost like a question. It just leaves this hanging problem of where did the thing go? So it's a lot harder to do a really good, clean vanish. Clowns, magicians, comedians. Has there ever been a trick you attempted, but it was ultimately too challenging? I had this really crazy notion of um, opening up a cardboard box and having a single bubble fly out just into the air. And uh, I got pretty close but as it turns out, it's very difficult to get just one bubble. Have you ever not found the card? Yes, uh, it, it's, it's rough. When you are a magician and you're doing a magic show, people just think it's part of the show. So the more you're like, no, it just didn't work, let's move on, the more they just think you're setting them up for something else to happen. Um, so it's very hard to explain to people that it really, really did not work. How important are physical magic shops like Tannins to magicians? They are incredibly important. There are certain skills and things that you can't just learn from a video or can't just learn from a book and also a place where you can meet other magicians and exchange ideas. Uh, I think it's really important to magic and to learning that skill. How easy would it be 
for a magician of your caliber to sneak a water bottle past TSA. Part of being a magician is knowing when it's worth it and when it's not worth it. And I would say when it comes to TSA, just like everybody else, I would probably throw away the water bottle and all those kinds of things. <laughs> I'm gonna have to come back to this one. I, I can't, I don't know if I can think of a good, uh, good answer. What precautions does Tannins take to keep skilled magicians from shoplifting? What's the expression to catch a thief? Maybe it's because they're good uh, enough to not steal, but most likely I think they're smart enough to know that this is probably not the best place to try to steal things from because you will get caught and you will get punished in creative ways you couldn't have even imagined. Could you, what, is there any example of creative punishment? No, we don't really create it. We just tell them to never come back again. It's pretty basic. What are you hiding? Hmm. What am I hiding? What are we all hiding? I don't know. I'm not. I. 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 I have. I don't have that much to hide. I think that's one of the fun things about being a magician is you. You're very upfront. Like I got a whole bunch of tricky stuff, but it's very clear. And then you can just be a normal person after that. Also a coin. <laughs>